infinite ammo. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the Quarter Circle Forward podcast. I am Reapers, and joining me today are a cast of my friends. I'm going to start down the list with Mr. Renegade Operative, who, uh, shout out to him, came to the podcast on time. Um, Hammy has a nice booty, uh, very thick, but very overpowered. How's it going, everyone? Uh. Going down the line, Mr. Italian Italian. How you doing, sir? Good. And just to follow up on Cammy has a nice booty. Uh Sakura also has a nice booty. Wood touch. Well that's that's uh, way nah. that's too cool. That's, that's, that's like oh, paper. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Waifu wars the podcast. All right. It's all relaxed now. All right, next up, I got Mr. Brendan. Brendan, how you doing? Hi, everybody. It's Chad Ward in here. Now leave me alone. Gotcha. Thank you, sir. Uh, continuing going down this list, I got Mr. Hades Manticore. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of people in here today. Uh, I have Lagaya in here, but I think he's eating. So he's here. Just wanted to let you guys know that. Uh, I'm going to skip him for now since I think he's eating. Uh, Mr. Kineki, how are you doing today, sir? Square, 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 square. Sounds uh, like cross tag. Uh, oh, uh, and square. Trash. Right. Right. Damn it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have been living under a rock, uh, you may have missed out the fact that Evo uh, indeed happened. It was that fine time of the year for fighting games. Uh, we got a lot of news, uh, a lot of people winning. A lot of losers, a lot of people taking an L. Uh, we fortunately took a W because we did not pay to see the event. We actually sat in the best seat in the house, our house, and enjoyed That's it from right. our room. Yes. That's a big W for the podcast, guys. Uh, round of applause for us. Yeah. Yay, we did it. Yeah, yeah we're, we're sitting alive. next yeah. to a bunch of smelly people. Yay. <laughs> oh, well, smashers? Oh. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that. Oh, shit, I don't even have that. We should talk about that. Yeah, we'll probably get to it eventually. But uh, starting up, we're going to go to the baby news because there's only one thing going on with this company, and that is SNK. SNK has, as you may or may not know, SNK Heroines, Frenzy, Fighter, blah, 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 Smash. Um, There was leaks that there was going to be Terry and some other bimbo, but it has seemed that the leaks may be correct because unfortunately uh for us straight men terry bogard has undergone a change and uh this Basically. change involves some breasts breasticles and uh loss of genitals go ahead brendan so basically terry became the bimbo <laughs> yeah so we got sure got a hold of him yeah yep <laughs> So it seems that we have a uh, female Terry Bogard into the squad. I, I, I guess SNK real life uh, figured out that they ran out of females, uh, so they had to use Car Terry for some reason. Uh, what do you guys think about it? Why did someone say that this is going to happen next to Keo? I, I swear it is because they ran out of ideas, and uh, the only way to supplement is to. Oh all the characters that are male into female so well there is a cosplayer in one of the kof or the old games where 
she cosplay as Keo. Hmm. I don't see why they simply didn't use like their old heroines like King. That would have been easier. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she's not uh, in there. No, nope. not that I just noticed. Wow. Isn't there like a large list of SNK females, like the females from Metal Slug? These... Oh, I forgot about those. Ones. Yep, and Theo is not one of them. <laughs> on on the on Man, the game, those games are awesome. Right, right. I don't understand it. It's kind of dumb to me. I feel like SNK is just um, they're playing it safe. They're adding characters that are uh, well known to Mexico. Uh, I, I guess Mexico doesn't know about Metal Slug. I guess it's just kind of us a little bit. I think it's weird, but A, SNK gonna SNK. Uh, anybody else have any thoughts before I move on? Oh, and Aerie. I didn't know that. Hmm? Uh, one of the other girls in the Metal Slug series. Yeah, there's like two of them. The guy, I don't feel the most. The guy, you have any thoughts on SNK female Terry or not? Nah? Uh, to be honest, I think adding in a female Terry would be pretty interesting. Uh, in terms of the fighting game aspect, like, you know, the fighting game characters, there there aren't enough female fighting game characters, so I figured, why not just make gender swap characters? And as for the Kyo gender swap, her name is Kyoko. Oh, oh, I knew it. Oh, so it exists. Got it. Yeah, it, it does exist, but they're not going to... They, they might not call her Kyoko. They're probably just gonna call it call her Kyo. Oh, I mean okay. it's I mean it's cool they're putting like more characters in the game, but uh at the same time it kinda screams uninspired. They could have yeah. like did something else maybe. Yeah, like um I get any more female characters though, but turning a dude into a chick is not how it's done. The character has been somebody else before, so I'm like, nah. It's uh, like I, yeah, don't don't do. dig talk a established character. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you take a look at the name Terry, it, it's uh, technically a unisex name. Just take the Y out and add the I, and then you get. I you see all Terry. this. That's that is definitely some like high key justification. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like they should add in like some of their other female fighting game characters that they've uh, had in the past. They should add in Shermy. Um, Mainly. What they did. Shermie is in that game. What oh, is she? Berry? Yeah. What uh, about not... the uh, crazy redheaded chick? What, oh, Vice? Yeah, Vice. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, she's not in there. Good wait, point. why aren't Vice and Mature in this game? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, what um, Alice from KO14. Yes, she should have been there, but no. Um... And she's basically all the, all the, um, she's basically the trio in one. Uh, Andy, Terry, and Joe. Yeah, she's the Fatal Fury fango. Who owns Sh uh, Samurai Showdown or whatever the fuck? S N K. Yeah. Isn't there any female yeah. characters in there? A bunch. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I guess I guess they ran out. Yeah, well, not uh, the there is a bunch, and Lakai is talking about it. I know. Yeah, I'm saying. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Uh, yeah, Nakaruru is one of them. Uh, Charlotte's. Um. The other Nakaruru type character, I don't know her name. And then you got characters from Last Blade as well, the uh, female characters. I don't know any of their names, so. <laughs> I wish I knew them better, goddammit. I'm just saying, like, I feel like they had a lot of females to choose from, but they kind of just stuck into KOF people. I think that's kind of lame, in my opinion. Um,. I do have a question. I believe this is the roster. Terry was the last person, and that's the, the full roster. Really? I'm pretty that's, sure that's the last of it, yeah. That's kind of disappointing, in my opinion. Yeah. Could have been more. I feel like maybe DLC, they'll add other franchise females? I don't know. They'll probably turn Andy into a female. Yeah. No! No! <laughs> I was going to make a joke, but I'm not going to do it. Maybe he'll want men instead of the females. Well, yeah, I mean, he, doesn't he, want Mai. Yeah. he is married to Mai, so just think of the opposite. Open relationship. <laughs> no, Mai's a dude. <laughs> oh, the, you know, they'll probably do that for DLC. I won't be surprised. 
dude my over here does bulge and muscles and had the on a super outfit on. I'm just saying, just, like, just just make her have a bulge in her pants when she's a dude. Bulge what the fuck? That's what's gonna happen. What? <laughs> oh god. Okay. Oh, what? I'm dead, bro. <laughs> That's gross. I'm gonna move on to the next uh, company. Oh. <laughs> yes, please, thank God. Uh, here's a company we haven't talked about in a long time, uh, Koi Tecmo. They are, oh, as you may or may or not know, they're making Virtual Fighter Six. I mean, Dead or Alive Six. Let's say you, you don't do that to me, Reapers. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you're joking, don't fucking do that. It's to pretty me. much Virtual Fighter. Virtual Fighter Sega, right? Are you, are you talking yeah, about? Virtual Fighter Sega. What are you talking okay. about? No, he but this is the same thing. Boa is Virtual Fighter. I mean, it wishes. No. I mean, Here you can. It's alive. You can say that. Yeah, Sega did give them a helping hand. I uh, am saying that. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but still, uh, DOA is still like its own different beast in some ways. Uh, yeah, it's alive. You mean it's more counter heavy than anything? <laughs> I was about to say, it gets counters the video game. Oh, oh, oh. You should name it to Propaganda Alive Six now. So, something tells me that like Virtual Fighter gets no love on this podcast. Not anymore. Uh, not as long as I'm here, buddy. I love that game to death. <laughs> Virtual <laughs> Fighter <laughs> for forever. Mm. It's been only been five, right? Yeah. 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 Final yeah. Showdown was the last one. Uh, was it yeah. Final Showdown like the last version of five? Yeah, and they added so. like uh, Dante and fucking Taka Rashi. Is it? Uh, okay. Is the main character of? Uh, Virtual Fighter, a guy in a white gi? Yeah, yeah Kiri. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's the main trying... character in the anime, which not, trying... not many people want. Are you trying to make, like, Ryu comparison, sir? Maybe. Nah, uh, he's, got a, he's got an entirely different fight style. Hockey nah, I, see, I don't know. I was just going by yeah, He does have a blue gi as well, so. And he's not homeless. <laughs> he's not homeless. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Yeah, for some reason, Bridge is love traveling on feet. Anyways, we're talking about this game because there's been a reveal. Uh, they have put in a sexy male character named Diego. Is Diego new? Yes. Uh, yes. yes. He's a male character that uh, he can have his shirt ripped off um, by getting hit. So, he, you know, for the ladies that want to see some 3D male chest, perfect for you. I mean, what do you guys think about Diego? Hypocrisy and he's freaking Miguel Ripoff. Hmm. He, no, he, he, he got a square jaw looking um thing. Jaw. And Miguel is he reminds me too much of Miguel as well because uh, nah. I don't even like Miguel either, so you know I'm not gonna like this guy. Uh, <laughs> um, apparently, they also say he's a ripoff of what's his name, dude? Brad from the Virtual Fighter series. Brad Burns, yeah. yeah. Is he a kickboxer like Brad? Or he just what? looks like him, but I'm not sure about the fighting style. I was gonna say, I don't know about that. I think he's more of a street brawler like Miguel. Yeah, he's a problem. He's too sluggish. Miguel is cancer because he hits so hard. He's like Paul 2.0. He's fast and it's hard. I'm like, how's this possible? Yeah, but that's, that's the point, though. Yeah, I'm not feeling Diego, honestly. But as mentioned, um, it's, I wasn't, not SK, I'm sorry. I wasn't in Corey Tecmo or a bunch of hypocrites because, um, they took away the things that sell the franchise, aka sexy females, and here we are. We have a dude ripping his shirt off with bulging muscles that are unrealistic. Oh, he does kind of look like Brad. No joke. So, hey, yeah, the girls got to have theirs, but we can't have the titties. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Duh. Mm-hmm. Double standard. Does anybody else have any thoughts on Diego? Let's go, Diego. <laughs> Man, I mean, woo. Uh, yeah. Hitomi and Lei Fang got announced. Who gives a shit, you know? Or leaked. I was gonna say, speaking of tits, we got Hitomi and Lei Fang getting announced. That's good. With tentacles! With yeah, I was gonna the... say, what's with the the fucking Kraken in that one stage? Japan. <laughs> so, they're censor- so they're nerfing sexy females boobs, you know. Oh, but they're not human, but they're gonna add tentacles. Okay. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Give the Kraken oh. boobs, that's what you're saying. Oh, okay. oh god. Write it down. Write it down. Yeah, uh, they'll they'll, go... they'll Wait, probably add all that shit in later. All the jiggle physics and shit. Nah. Yeah, they probably will, though. But remember, though, big muscles are um human, but big boobs aren't. So keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah, I swear I saw uh, tearing on the female clothing models as well. Am I crazy? Yeah, you probably are. You yeah. probably wish it was, but it wasn't. 
<laughs> the whole different fighting game, Reaper, is whole different. The tentacle arm comes out, but then a big sensor bar blocks the screen. <laughs> <laughs> or it just goes black like that <laughs> one fatality. Oh, oh yeah, Sub-Zero three. from uh, uh, Trilogy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that one, classic yeah, not, not Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I'm not really into uh, DOA for obvious reasons that you people in here know about. Watch the ball. I'm not really good at it. It's very hard. Very difficult. And uh, countering is very hard. So, yeah. I don't know about this. This ain't it, Chief. That's what I'm going to say. Um, it, has, it has all the combos, so you have more reasons to avoid it now. Play the uh, <laughs> volleyball game. I mean, that might be for you. <laughs> no, I'll just I'll oh, stick yeah. to Mario Tennis. Three never came to the West, unfortunately. Import? Virtual Fighter Three? No, no he's I, talking about uh, the uh, Dead or Alive Extreme Three. Yeah, yeah, Fighter Three was no, here. I think, I think it was on Dreamcast. 3. That was the problem. Yeah, Virtual Fighter Extreme Three. That's what you meant. <laughs> One could hope. <laughs> One could fucking hope. So we will see Akira in in a uh, just tossing volleyballs. No, I can already what? see that if I just boot up Virtual Fighter Five. They had a lot of outfits like that for everybody. Oh, yeah, respect. It's gonna be Heihachi from Tekken Four all over again. Well, you can't have Fidoshi's in Tekken Seven for all the male characters. No. Yes, you can. You can. Fuck. Uh, why? Even even Geese Howard. Uh, well, whoa, hello. Why though? Bathhouse brawl, baby. Let's go. Get it. That sounds like a. Also. Really bad movie. All right, I think we're done with the topic, right? Yeah, I think so too. We're gonna move on to the next uh, company because that one's done. Get that shit out of my face. Next up, we got uh, Bandai Namco. Uh, first game we're gonna talk about is Soul Calibur Six, and we're gonna talk about how Astaroth and Seong Mi Na got announced. What do you guys think about these characters? <laughs> I can't Three. wait. Hmm. Uh, series staples. I mean, I expected it. Uh, nothing really riveting, but you know, it's good they're in the game. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I barely remember half the Soul Calibur characters. I just know I like Mitsurugi. Good to go. He said yeah. Mitsurugi. Yeah. Mitsurugi, yeah. I'm See my boy Lizard Man, and everything's I'm, gonna be good. I'm still gonna try to get the deluxe edition because I want to know who is the extra character that you get for for getting it. Who is that character? <clears throat> I hope it's like uh, George Washington for like a dollar bill that you spent. Oh, spawn. <laughs> did they um? Did they, they announce? Hmm? Did they, they announce there. Cervantes? Not yet. No. Oh, no. Okay. no I don't, don't think so. Don't put. Don't put him in the pre-order bonus. I don't know who the fuck that is. I don't know any of these characters. He's the pirate guy. I, mean, I don't know who the yeah, fuck that is. He's you. With the two swords? You ever played like Soul Calibur 2, man? No. That was like the best one. That shit was hella good. I've never <laughs> played Soul Calibur other than the demos from Target. Oh, man. man. I played and 2 and 3 so much when I was young. Holy and shit. Soul Edge, that guy was broken. Jesus. Nah. He oh, was. Soul Edge? That 30 FPS version? Mm hmm. Now, anybody got any more thoughts on these two characters? I can't wait for uh, Zone Mina. She's my uh, pocket character from all the other Soul Calibur games. Man, whoever that is, I hope you get her. It's the uh, redhead chick with the spear reapers. That, there's a lot of them uh, in my mind. Uh, that, that's, Soul Calibur. That's nah, Hilde. Dragon Age. She has a spear. Hilde has a. I thought she had a battle standard and a sword like her. I want the uh, Harley Quinn looking chick with the ring swords. Kira. A. Uh, was was is Valdo in the game? Uh, yes, yeah, perverted okay. Valdo. Yeah, he's in there. Hell yeah, man! Wouldn't be a Soul Calibur without him. I'll tell you that, that dude much. freaking creeps me out. Yeah, so <laughs> for the ladies who like S and M, I mean that's for you. Uh, who wouldn't like bulging ball guy carving people up? That doesn't even say anything, but like disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or disgusting. some shit. <laughs> disgusting. Let me try to find that weird costume Baldo had in Soul Calibur 2 real quick. I just want to... I'm, I'm sure he's in, but Yoshimitsu. He, like, I want him back. Or we got him, so... Yes, yes, I get my wish. This was the costume right here, man. That's the what? costume you picked playing Soul Calibur 2, Baldo. 
What the f- weird xenomorph? Looks like a mix of that guy Gigas from Tekken Seven. So weird. Is Xenobite from uh, Hellraiser? And, That's what uh, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now I see it. Holy shit! Xenobite uh, plus xenomorph. I think would probably be the uh, best way to describe it. Would you say Xenobite? Or, or like a really big Judas Priest fan. Oh, yeah, that's one way to describe them. That's crazy. Anybody else got any thoughts on these characters? Mm. Oh, no. no. All right, Mofo, we're going to move on to the next thing. I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce this right. Uh, Ar- Arc System Works has their own Capcom Cup that's called Arc Revo World Tour. I think that's how they say it in Japan. Um, but, um, yeah. Yes. Go ahead. What? That's the weirdest name ever. Yeah. <laughs> Weird name for War Tour. It's basically what Tekken War Tour and Capcom Pro Tour, except it's like Arc System stuff. Arc System yeah. War Tour? I heard that correctly? Yeah. It's like Arc, Arc, Arc River. Arc Revor. Like if you see Tekken mm, World Tour, uh, this is. Arc this is Revo. You need to say Arc Revo. Arc Revo. Arc Revo. And I believe it's covering. um. Cross tag, Chrono Phantasma, and um, uh, XRD. They're still they're still doing Phantasm. Oh man! Why, yeah, why don't they just call it what it is? Label. Call it what it is: Anime Invasion. Would, Hell wouldn't yeah! It, wouldn't mm-hmm. it be Central Fiction? Because that's the latest Blaze Blue game. Oh, is it? Fuck. Yeah. yeah. It's all CFs. So I got confused. <laughs> <laughs> Chrono Phantasma is P- PH. Oh man! I don't know about this, Chief. I what do you guys? It up. I admit it. What do you guys think about this tournament thing? It's nice, man. More esports for all the other games. It's nice. Fuck them games, like no. Yeah, it's cool. Um, moving on to the next thing. This is gonna be a little difficult for me because there's a bunch of Japanese names. Oh, my favorite part of the podcast. Whoa. Here we go. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and. Get this down. There's been a bunch of characters revealed for uh, cross tag battle. Uh, revealed these... and released for reference. Oh yeah, they're they're already out. Um, so get hype. Pog champs in the chat. Um, hell yeah. These characters are name nine the Phantom. That's not so bad. Uh, one for one. Izayoi. <laughs> Iza what? Izayoi. <laughs> Yeah. He's a yo. He's a yo. He's got it. So, uh, Reaper's Mayweather. All right. <laughs> you, you, uh, pronounced, you pronounced it right. You Zuriha. No, you Zuriha. <laughs> Something like that. He's got his Japanese dictionary sounding all out. It's yeah. Great. <laughs> oh, um, Mer. M- is it Merkava? Yeah, it's just Merkava. Merkava. Oh, why could we have an inflatable arm filling tube, man? Yeah. Akiko Senpai. I don't know. I don't know that thing, Oh, here Senpai. Didn't. <laughs> Mitsuru Senpai, too. Cool Japanese in here. Hey, support yeah, your local Senpai. Uh, Mika, that's pretty easy. Yeah. Oz, the best Mika. They got the Tims. They got the uh, New Yorker Labrys. <laughs> Deadass. <laughs> oh, God. Dead I love B. the Brooklyn accent. I yeah. can't help it. Oh wait, uh, mm-hmm. Lavery's from Persona 4 Arena. Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay. With their New York accent. Oh. Brooklyn Rage. Brooklyn Rage. Uh, my Natsume. That's it. I he did, did it. it. Pull hey. the party poppers, everybody. Round of applause hey. for me. Dun, 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 but you forgot one more thing. I really need a soundboard. What's up? They're gonna add. A fifth entry to the cross tag uh, franchise. Yep. Yes. Meaning, mm-hmm. who's going to be the fifth contender, the fifth series to join the game? Center and Kagura. This game. I'm pretty is... sure it actually is Center and Kagura. Why is oh, that? Not Sonic the Hedgehog. And explain why you think that. Uh, because of the leaked uh, voice files that came out a while back. The names Asuka and Yumi, which are oh, both yeah. Center and Kagura characters. Hmm. I mean, yeah. I still like my pet theory of League of Legends. But, I don't like you know, it. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, good. That might be its whole game on its own. I've heard rumors that there's gonna be a League of Legends fighter, but I don't know how that one's gonna shake down. 
correct me if I'm wrong, gentlemen, but I believe that Crosstag is one step closer to becoming Mugen. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. What you wanted. It, it, it oh, pretty much, boy. It mm -hmm. pretty much is Mugen for adding four different series in one fighting game. Just hey man, I get... think the mm. Blaze Blue title is kind of like a clickbait in a way because it's not Blaze Blue, it's just literally a crossover. It's not a clickbait I mean, if it doesn't right, make you want to click it. That's why it's cross tag battle. Yeah, you should just call it cross tag battle, not Blaze Blue, because honestly, this is not Blaze Blue to me. Yeah, because I, Bla but... I think Blaze Blue is the header, but yeah, I don't know why people treat us another Blaze Blue entry. It's its own little fun thing to be honest with you yeah i i can't i don't think it's clickbait because seeing blaze blue in the title doesn't make me want to click it does the opposite actually yeah it should be called cross promotion equals money <laughs> that's like everything man just yeah. waiting for karate man to get in there <laughs> just keep adding those franchises man let's make this fucking voltron work let's it's gonna go. have evil dan and carnage in there Carnage. Yeah. Give me Mr. Psycho. Let's fucking go. That's how we had it. Put us in it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Get, get, get the, the Skullgirls characters in there. Let's go. We're going to start seeing Cross Tag and Salty Bet next. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I fucking love Salty Bet, man. <laughs> they play good music sometimes. Yes. Yeah. Alright, anybody else have any thoughts on these characters? Uh, they're all pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, Yuzu Riha is a really interesting character to play. I've mainly been playing Aki and Miko, though. Mm -hmm. Actually, <laughs> great. I have a question before, because after this, we're going to another game from this company. Um, mm -hmm. What is everybody's thoughts so far with the game as of right now? I feel like it's too easy with the auto combos, but, you know, I, I feel like even with the auto combos, there's still some workarounds to mix in your mm -hmm. own combos. Yep, sound like fighters. No, it's all I, combos, but yeah, work around it. Yeah, I, I actually, I actually kind of love cross tag battle. I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't expect to like it as much as I have, but yeah, there's he's like, lying. I'm not lying at all. I promise you. <laughs> no, he's lying. I'm Who's paying pleasantly, you? I was pleasantly surprised by this game when I picked it up. I was like, uh. You hear that? Give him his check. <laughs> yeah, cut me my fucking check, Ark, yeah. okay? Cut me down. Let me pick the next franchise that's coming in. Let's go. Well, be an official yes. yes, man, yeah. Hell yeah. I, yeah, just put your fighter and cross tag. Roll, roll a dump truck of money up to my house. I'll say whatever the fuck you want. Let's go. <laughs> I just wish I had people to play with in the game. Hey, if you're on PS4, man, hit me up. I play. Sweet. There you go. I might pick it up for PS4 eventually. It's a really fun game, and after watching uh, Top 8 at um, EVO, it's a lot crazier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I'm still here. What's full of, um, was it, Ruby and Gordell? I got, I got bored watching it. Um, I know the person that won. I think there were two Ruby Gordo teams. I know one because one yes. was Kazunoku, and the other was um, Heiho, who eventually won the tournament. Yeah, yeah Ruby, I, uh, definitely, yeah. Ruby definitely is the best character in that game. It stinks because I hate that character. Seems like I'm the only one that got Undernight and Birth on PS4. Yeah, I don't have it either. Not because I don't like Undernight, I just um, never got around gotten it or know nothing about it. Hmm. Alright. Yeah. Anybody else have anything they want to say about the game before I move on? Put it on sale for $20 and then I'll think about buying. In regards to Senran Kagura, no Daidoji, no Bioji there. They're corny as Have <laughs> get up, man. Daidoji fucking rocks. Let's get her in there. Start the petition. Oh man, that was funny. Have Start a petition and get you put down. That you make out there. Have a color for Labrys that looks like she's wearing brown tims and wearing a uh, Yankees hat. Oh, what are? Right. That'd be funny. All right, next next game. Everybody's favorite, uh, Dragon Ball Z Fighters. Oh. Uh... Oh my god. Yeah, well, it was lit this year, I can't front. Especially <laughs> since, um, you know, it was the most viewed game in EVO history. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, yeah, I'm sure it was lit at EVO, Hot. but online is a different problem. Oh yeah, that's a different story because, um, you know, 20 frame lag, and that caught me from playing the game. That is not fun. Uh, but yeah, always fun to watch, <laughs> but sometimes I can't tolerate that game. It takes fucking forever to watch some tournaments. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, that's why the, fucking yeah. Street Fighter was so late. 
Wait, Bunk which one? Bunk? That was the one that held up like everything. It was no, bad and uh, Smash. those sm yeah. those smelly pieces of shit. Smash. <laughs> Smash Nintendo games in general held everything up, is what I heard at Evo. Yeah, they did. They're the one that started. Those like, two um, bosses. Didn't we like mm -hmm. have like what two or three like Nintendo um related games there that were like really long or whatever? Not like, I know stash. arms. I know arms ran over because the NBCI people were very mad that they had to play so late. But that like side shit though. People love watching their like party games. Yeah, I can't say I blame them, especially since for Street Fighter Five. You know, it was so late that people stopped watching. That kind of killed the reviewer show. The salt I think it was real. Uniel as well. Was was MVCI even at Evo? It was. It was there as a side tournament. Yeah. Okay, because I was reading about it, and it said that you know because it failed hard, it was removed from. No, they could still have a side tournament. They just weren't going to oh, be on okay. the main stage. There are tons of side tournaments at Evo. For reference, they were okay. playing that Sailor Moon fighting game. Oh, oh god! The broken, the, the broken fighting game. Hell yeah, oh, man! What about, they had what about a little... cat fight? That's a good one. Cat fight? Never heard. I know of they have cats oh, in that's, there. That's like a sh really, really, really bad fighting game. They usually like digitize graphics. It has all female cast. It was, it was terrible. Sounds like a shitty MK. Yeah, that's yeah. It was yeah. It's a shitty MK club. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, yeah. Also, um, are the DLCs on the list, um, Reapers? Of course they are. Um, if you guys didn't see, after that long session of Dragon Ball games, uh, at the end they revealed that Cooler is looking pretty cool, and he's going to be coming out. You're not um, sending me to the Cooler. When is he coming out? <laughs> September, late like September. Or something like that. September. Yeah, late September. Yeah, he's yeah. coming out late September. He's looking pretty cooler. Yeah, it's cooler. <laughs> nice pun. Yeah. What do you guys think Stay about cooler. cooler? Uh, he's better than Frieza. Uh, time to drop Frieza if you're a Frieza main. He's better than Goku's. <laughs> the time to drop Frieza was the second he was released in that game. <laughs> Dang. Okay. No. Though, actually, yeah. I don't know. He, yeah. Yeah. People are telling me he's good after the patch since he's got reverse beat on Golden Frieza now. Oh, uh, well, they're going to drop him again once Cooler is out. Watch. <laughs> I, I love that they're using like his final form as well. Uh, it looks so good in motion. And the reason I really love Cooler is not due to the fact that he got revealed here. People keep making this fucking meme where it's like this nigga's eating beans and Cooler's there. And I'm like, this is the best thing ever. I want to buy this character right away. As long as I get to do that to my opponent and make him eat beans in the corner and blow him up, that's totally fine with me. I love the eating beans meme. <laughs> me so too. I'm it's so stupid, but it's funny. It always eating makes me laugh, beans. dude. This nigga eating beans. <laughs> this nigga eating beans. That's just funny. Yeah. It's like a marketing oh. trait. Nigga eating beans. Buy our beans today. Huh. <laughs> Sensor yes. beans. Bro. That'd be funny that that's the actual thing, like Sensor beans. Yeah. You get Sensor beans with pre ordering this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we gotta talk about that whole. Uh, debacle that was like a shitstorm on Twitter and everybody being salty about what the whole what? um the furry dude and the Japanese uh, guy and they're like oh, oh let's switch sides and he was like no like yeah, yeah <laughs> that furry guy yeah hold on, hold on. okay well then so like I can understand why people are a little mad because he did help with the tournament by doing that and basically swap sides though but the thing is though that's tournament legal so. Not much you can do about it. Yeah, it's a legit strategy called icing. And the only reason it took so long is because the Evo staff had no idea it was an actual rule. It should have taken like half a second to do, but Evo staff did not know. So For context, what happened was uh, Sonic Fox was like, man, this seat's kind of cold. Can I switch seats with you? And uh, the other guy was like, no, man. And then they all scrambled to find out if it was okay. And it turns out it was, and they did. And now people thought, or are thinking, that Sonic Fox did that to get the win. I mean, it is a strategy because sometimes play, people play better on the player one side than it is on the player two. So that's true. I mean, uh, and plus Goichi could have kept his composure if he wanted to win. So at the end of the day, though, and while it may seem a little screwed up, it, it's fair game. Mm -hmm. I agree. Game. I I hate playing on the right side of the screen. I don't know why. I just hate it. Oh yeah, I, I, I that can't one do player that. slot. It, yeah, I can't do. Okay. 
it, it, it uh it, it's more of a preference thing than like choosing a color or a costume for your character it's it's a preference yeah hmm. but yeah that that pretty much happened that was a uh, pretty dumb but it happened <clears throat> um there was a balance patch for Dragon Ball Fighter Z obviously you guys have played it i've barely touched it uh, what do you guys think about the balance patch? Who's top tier now and who's uh, dead now? I mean, the people that are dead are, are are still the ones that are dead. I know Beerus is still dead, basically. Oh, Beerus is never coming back. <laughs> it's it's unfortunate because I f I feel like if you took out Dragon or if you took out the Rush, Beerus would actually be a really good character, but that is not very true as of right now. I'm not sure about Frieza. I know they added reverse beat to his uh his golden form, but mm -hmm. I have no idea if that made him overall better or not. He's so. still number twenty on this tier list. Where's Yikes! The old event hubs tier list. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Lois is Beerus, followed by Blue Vegeta, Teen Gohan. Hmm. Funny, I used to like Blue Vegeta, Where's but Blue Vegeta, yeah, oh, number Blue nine. Vegeta right. is so boring to play as. He does it literally the exact same combo with him. Just, he has nothing unique. You know, ironically, I agree with you because I like Super Saiyan more. He just has more options that I, I'm well familiar with. Yeah. Oh, Bard action? Oh. Hmm. I forgot about Bardock that. Bardock is fucking god in fighters. Bardock's has anyone, pretty strong. Has anyone tried the uh, base characters yet? Yeah, they're really, they're really no. fun to play as. Um, Goku is kind of hard. Because with this Kaioken mix-up, you got to do a bunch of button inputs for you to um, for it to connect. It's like one of Terry Bogard's moves. It's, I forgot. It's like Shining Wolf, where you do this special, and then there's a series of button combinations that you have to press for it to initiate the full combo. It's basically the same thing with Goku's Kaioken. And with Goku's Kaioken, he can do uh, the Kaioken attack, like how he did against Nappa. Times four Kai uh Kaioken Kamehameha. If he has uh if you have two uh characters left on your side, and then times twenty if he's just by himself. So he can work well as an anchor, but I wouldn't I still wouldn't risk it. Hmm. Yeah, he's a really strong character too. Especially if you um toss somebody in the air and do the um air spread bomb. Oh lord. It does like I think sixty damage raw, and you win yeah. like a combo, you're dead. So you're saying they're a waste of a slot, just like I said. No, All right, no, thanks. no, no. The ba like, the base sands are actually probably the most lit sands. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, they're you know, don't really say that. strong. Don't oh. encourage them to continue this bullshit. I'm not encouraging them. No, I will encourage least, it. No, at, don't at do least, this. Like for your money worth, though, they are. They're good though. No. In front, they're good. Yo, base Vegeta running. might be the best Vegeta to be honest. Stop with Stop fronting. Yeah, uh, yeah. it is. <laughs> Villain Yo, Reapers in the chat. Base uh, Goku I've... is the most powerful Goku you could ever seen in your life so far. I just well, see like, a bunch of stupid people running into like Vegeta's level three. Mm. <laughs> You've seen well, Goku's spirit bomb? Oh man. Yeah, Yo, it's. It, it is broken. Then. It's slow on startup too. So once it once it once you start it up, you can easily vanish it. Hmm. But it does cover most of the screen. So even if you do vanish it uh, from it, you could possibly get hit from it. Um, and I, I will say this about the base characters. Now I understand that there are four different types of Goku's. In yeah. Stages, but you got to realize that no. even if they're the same characters. Their movesets are different. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems that my cast of crew has been compromised. I apologize uh, on behalf <laughs> of the podcast. Having some technical difficulties. Everyone's disconnecting yeah. except me. Uh, uh. Yeah, Reapers is trying to Thanos snap the chat. Cut his mic. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't wrestling. <laughs> oh, no. So hey, I'm going to drop the pipe bomb. When I'm, when I'm watching Trash. <laughs> Right, I'll be very. I'll, I'll keep complaining when there's another Vegeta, another Goku. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'd be hyped for if they made Kid Goku. Stop it, man! Don't <laughs> do this. I'm Hold on. Like, no. well, Chi Chi, we need it. No. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, what were you gonna say, Kaneki? I need Videl. That's fine. Oh. I need 
Pilaf machine and Yajirobi no, no. and Mr. Stop. Satan. No. Let's go. No, oh, we're, about, we're going about, above and beyond. Take, take uh, take great, great cut Shaya man. <laughs> cut, cut his mic too, please. <laughs> Never. Wait, you said great Shaya man? Another goal? Chi We need it. Be great. Chi Chi doesn't even fight. She's like, she's gonna <laughs> kill you with a pot and pan. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. Let oh. me play as three Cybermen standing on top of each other wearing a trench coat. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Someone do like a picture of that, please. Holy oh, shit. God, I have Mighty Mask as a character, Kappa. Oh gosh. <laughs> Arrested a Ginyu Mike Force? A Come on. <laughs> oh, cool. Ginyu's actually moved up a lot with this patch, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Does he still have the Milky Cannon? Dominant yeah, it's not called Milky okay. Cannon, though. Damn it. He's like, Dom said, fuck Yajirobe, worst Dragon Ball character ever. Or <laughs> What about the cat? What's his name? Uh, Corrin? Corrin. Corrin? Yeah. No. From uh, Fire Emblem? No. Uh, oh, no. Oh, yeah. One's at Puel. Let's go. I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about now. You guys are like out of where I was watching. <laughs> Super uh, big kami guru. Oh no, where is Android 8? The guy. Aider, <laughs> man. Oh, Holy shit. <laughs> is, is, is that the Frankenstein one? Yeah. yeah that's, that's, oh, my, my boy Aider. The goats of androids. Hell yeah. The gout. But uh, besides that though, like, uh, let's go ahead and move on. Pretty please. Yeah. Um, real quick, we're gonna take a quick moment of silence for a voice actor that passed away. It was the voice actor that voiced Heihachi and many other characters when it came to anime and or video games. Uh, name of the voice actor is, uh, shit, I'm disrespecting the dead by butchering his name, but that's okay. Uh, Yuki Nori Ishizuka. So, please, a moment of silence for him. All right. Um. Yep. So he passed away. That sucks. What do you guys think about this gentleman? Um. Uh, pretty good, actually. We know he's doing around for like what one game. Mm-hmm. Isn't it crazy? It like, too. this is the second Heihachi that died. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's weird. And, and, and that insult to injury. Like, He's also. Ins- oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, so yeah, like insult to injury, though. Um, he actually died in the story, so like that. Yeah. That sucks. Sucks. That has to be accurate. It's kind of like Kano from like the movies. All the Kano actors died. Dude, that's amazing. so fucking weird. Yeah. Or for people who don't know, he also voices. Uh, one of the characters from JoJo. I think it was the older version of Joseph Joestar. Yeah, yes. old Joseph Joestar. I love that character. Holy shit. Yep, Holy that was shit. him. We'll never hear that. <laughs> oh oh my. my god. Oh he my was god. also Andrew. Professor Oak. Really? I've yeah, never I've yet. never heard the Japanese Professor Oak. That's dubs over here or nothing, buddy. Gary fucking Oak. <laughs> and uh, Jet Black from Cowboy Bebop. Oh, yeah, I remember that character. I'm sorry, I can't watch JoJo in English. It's not going to happen, fam. <laughs> yeah, the guy that voices uh, uh, Yataro in English is Matt Mercer, and he says it's high noon at some point in that anime, which I oh, think is absolutely oh, hilarious. That's hilarious. Oh, I keep forgetting good. all my funny that anecdotes. Because I just remembered at uh, at Evo for Blaze Blue Cross Tag, everyone was in English but the Ruby characters. I thought that was fucking funny. <laughs> God, that that shit's bad. Also, I can't lie, Reapers. When you said moment of silence, I thought you were gonna say Marvel. <laughs> no, I was gonna oh, say press F. Man, why are you always gotta put okay, it in there? Because the I honestly thought you were gonna say Let's no. Have a moment of silence I'm not. Marvel. I'm not huh? you. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 come on, Phil. We can I'm, have I'm, a def- definitive moment of silence, though, because oh, yeah, everyone's yeah, just yeah. like, they're going to show something at Evo. They're going to show it. Hold on, no. let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's actually do give a definitive. No, to I'm not doing that. No, Darth is Play a Marvel versus Capcom 2 staff role right here. No. <laughs> uh, Dragon yeah, Ball, well, Dragon Ball, Ball Fighter Z, very nice game. No, it didn't. Yeah, it's like, just... It buried yeah, itself. Infinite I'll... buried itself. Let's not joke here, okay? I don't, I don't know, fam. I was... I know this is, like, not a great reason, but I was like, no, Capcom. The moment I heard Ghost Rider talk, I was like, no. 
get no bad. Oh, when they Everyone. ruined his pinch <laughs> there, it was worse. Oh yeah, that shit pissed me off too. It just stands still. Like, Venom, like, no was fine. Venom was fine except for his voice. Oh yeah, yeah Venom sounds way more like, like carnage. carnage. Yeah. I'm working on that video, man. It's taking uh, all my energy to get through it. I'm not gonna lie to you, because the video. How did it not finish it? Because I, it's like my script is like 13 pages. Oh. It's just 12. It's just 12 pages. Of this nigga laughing the whole fucking time. Just ha 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 on 12 pages. <laughs> I just released a 30 minute lo video of me pointing and laughing at a yeah. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite disc copy. Yeah, Resident Very Sleeper for good. Hades. No, I, w I wouldn't be that mean. I'm actually trying to be really level level handed with that video. Now he's Take now he's lying on stream. Yes, he is. Yeah, it's just me going Marvel sex for thirty minutes. Now he's telling the it's truth. Boom. Marvel's dead. Marvel's dead. <laughs> Anyways, where were we? Um, where are some reveals for uh, Tekken Seven? Apparently, um, Harada had a uh, some brunch. With that boon and he's like you know what bad boon what would you do oh. what character would you pick that nobody would want in your game but they would want in my game and he was like you know what nigel thornberry and he was like man that's crazy i'm just gonna get negan from uh <laughs> the walking dead so this translation <laughs> yeah, why though yeah <laughs> you know oh, like <laughs> I was gonna say that's like the strangest announcement ever to me, but it's the one that stuck in my head the most. Like I'm not mad at it at all. I actually think it's kind of cool, even though that show sucked since like seven years ago. But hey, what are you gonna do? I'm not mad at it. I was just it's weird. That's all I gotta it say. is really weird. Yeah, it's I, I, weird, but I'm okay with it. That's weird, right? That's super yes. fucking weird to me. Like I, I I don't even watch the show like a lot, but I'm totally okay yeah. with him being in the game if yeah. he plays well. You're better off not watching the show. <laughs> just Read the yeah, comic, a, it's much that, better. That's a good that's choice. That's what I heard. Yep. Just add Walter White next. Hell yeah, man. Add the George Hulk? Costanza, let's go. <laughs> right? Yeah. I was about to say, I saw that picture in the chat. That's the I best one. <laughs> that's too funny. Armor King, please. Oh yeah, there's two more characters that they showed. They're returning characters. Um, Are they? Lay is uh, returning. Lay and oh, Lay and Anna, yeah, but yeah, I thought yeah. you meant the other two. I was like, no. I don't really know what those are gonna be. So no. there's three actually. Um, aren't there like six characters total? Because um, there's like three pounds that weren't showing. Um, I think is it? Yeah. Um, we have um Lay, Anna, and Negan. Oh. There's three extra panels that weren't revealed yet. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. It's, it, it's six, but you know, Negan is an extra bonus. That's a guess. Um, quick question. Mm -hmm. What does everyone think about? the it fallout sucks. from fans saying that Kiryu should have been the reveal uh, announcement. Shut they're up, not, nerds. They're not wrong, but they're... Yeah, whatever. Nah, honestly, I would have up, probably preferred that. The only reason why people are hyped up over that because it was this little rumor that came out which turned out to not be true so far. I'm like, people need to calm down. Shut up. Like, it's not going to be in the game anytime soon. Or if at all. Fuck you, Brandon. That's all I gotta say. Roasted. Like... I, I want him to be in the game, but I'm not really like complaining about it if he doesn't make it. I just hope that um, they consider the idea. And Harada, he's very like friendly, except saying, you know, don't ask me for shit on this t-shirt, which is funny. Uh, yeah. But still, like, I, I think if there's enough demand and he knows it, he has to know, then he he's going to make that decision to put him in the game. We didn't ask him for Negan. <laughs> don't ask me for shit after Negan. We didn't. It'd be funny if he said that on Twitter. We didn't ask him for auto combos either. Someone did. Oh, okay, I don't like that. Negan to be honest. Be in hmm? What'd you say, yeah. Hades? I was gonna say that during in the Twitter responses of like a long time ago, he asked, "Who do you want to see as a guest character in Tekken?" Someone did say Negan for reference. Oh. So someone did ask him for shit and subsequently got it. Yeah, he remembered the little guy. Uh, Shoot for the good. stars, people. I'm gonna say this right now. Uh, if the auto combo is not an option to turn it off, then uh, yeah, I'm dropping the Okay, game. if that thing is on online, to be used online, I'm not playing online. I don't care how better the rank system is, like, nah, I'm good. As yeah. I'm not dealing with auto combos again. Are you gonna drop Tekken? I'm not gonna drop the game, I'm just gonna play single player. Or well, whatever single player is there, there is. He's dropping but, it. But, um, nah, I'm not doing online. Like, I ain't I, dealing with the auto combo bullshit. I honestly 
don't like mm-hmm. I don't think it's gonna work. Tekken's too slow of a game to have to implement auto combos. Compared so to why other do you need games. auto combos in a three D fighter? <laughs> it just, I'm trash at it. <laughs> that's true. You either if you're gonna play Tekken, you either gotta learn how to play it or don't play it at all. Tekken's the, one of the hardest fighting games. That's play. every fighting game though. You gotta learn it or oh, don't right. play. All right, if Tekken gets the second hard. Cross tag is a lot harder than you'd give it credit for. That's all I'm saying. Um, no fam. Well, in terms of a 3D fighter, it's it's the hardest fighting game. No, DOA is pretty hard. Uh, have you seen Virtua Fighter's move lists, man? That's why it's <laughs> dead, and we have DOA still. Uh, uh, Kiryuki's yeah. like the most honest character ever, too. No. Mm, anyway. He doesn't have a XXXXX combo like most people. You gotta play that character so. straight up. Yeah, they do need it. Uh, yeah, and also with Tekken, mm-hmm. they do need to fix that ranking system. It's because how are you gonna know if you're gonna rank up if you you, you got to play a bunch of matches where you either know you're gonna rank up or you're gonna decrease in your rank. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Speaking of uh, net codes that suck. Ooh, uh, all and, net codes. Yeah, pretty much all of them. Actually, who has the best net code right now? Well, right now. Not- Killer Instinct, I've heard. No, um, not anymore. No. Fighters? No. Fighters, uh, Fighters is okay. Yeah. It's not the worst I've played. Injustice? Oh, still yeah, actually, it might be Injustice. Yeah, Injustice, Injustice is close. Is good. Code, okay. Street Fighter Five is pretty good, you know. It's because it was designed for Americans, not Japan. That's why My it's man good Raiden, here. Worst in the game now. Pissed me off. Well, I mean, ranked sucks hard in Injustice. Like... Why am I locked to like three matches and I can't quit? And this dude has like burrito Wi Fi connection. What Duh. can I do? Burrito connection. Cut his burrito. Uh, spam gun. I don't want to quit because they put like the disconnect on record. So it's like I, I got to take the L or win. Who has and the best? Quit. You're not really going to get punished. Who has the best rage oh, yeah. quick uh, punishment mechanic? Oh, uh, no one does. Mortal Kombat for yeah. sure. What happens in DBZ? Uh, you need Not- everybody, you disconnect and nobody gets to win or lose, so. <laughs> they brand you as a rage okay. quitter eventually, too. Is it, mm-hmm. Isn't KI the game that puts you in, like, rage quitting jail? Yeah. They yeah. used to. Is it, is, it, uh, is it that one? I, yeah, I'm thinking of cheating. It, but, uh, that was the best, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. It, it's like you get to play with, like, all those people that rage quit before. So who rage quit more though? <laughs> Renegade. Well, well, I mean, that was two rage quitters. So we're gonna rage quit first. You you could fight LTG in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll just call you a drone ass scrub. Yes. That's pretty funny. Um, where were we? Oh yeah. So speaking of netcode, it seems that Bandai Namco announced like a while back that they're doing a network division in which they're going to be, I guess, helping people with their netcodes. Including their own, and it was uh, there was an article way before that said that Street Fighter was gonna get help from Bandai with their netcode. So we're but we're not sure when that's gonna be. Um, apparently, Bandai is gonna try it out on their games first. So once their shit gets fixed, then they might implement that on other games. So hopefully, netcodes around the board start getting better, but. I think that's a little too soon to be saying. What do you guys think? Um, okay, well, that's good, I guess. As uh, long as it's actually good, Nick. Cole, you know, I don't know complaints. At least they're trying. It, take, <laughs> it takes Bandai to actually do something about the Neko. Unbelievable. Well, and when I play Tekken, I, I never really have, like, bad Neko problems. So, or, or even in Fighters, I don't really have bad Neko problems. You're lucky. Who's oh, paying you? Yeah, fighters is like twenty frames of lag. You're gonna have a bad time underwater. Who's paying yeah. you? The guy. Three v three online is the worst. Even oh. even when I was playing fighters on the Switch when the beta came out, I had no netcode problems. Uh, this guy's a bot. You kick him out. It's like, yeah, <laughs> he has a bot. <laughs> I mean, it plays horrible on there. Mm-hmm. My bad. I, I have experienced like some bad lag on. The Switch version, but other than that, it's pretty decent. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think 
when it comes to lag, like most of the fighting games I played, the major ones this year, all of them had some form of lag. I, I can't think of a flawless match that I had, but I will say the most consistent connection that's mm -hmm. been kind of great has been Injustice. <laughs> Don't know why, but it plays like really well sometimes when it works. What happens? Because it's an American made game. Yeah, well, the other ones is like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. Well, twenty frames of lag. I gotta deal with this. You ever play Under Night Run? I've seen gameplay of it, but I have not played it. Y'all love the Netro. Oh yeah. god, <laughs> I might have to pick that up because I've seen some people talk about what it. What happens in Tekken when somebody rage quit? Oh, uh, you just disconnect, right? Oh, uh, you yeah. get disconnect, and it shows like a little disconnect ratio, and like it will increase until like if you hit like I think fifteen point something, you will no longer play online ever. Damn. Oh God. Yeah. That's the hard yeah, So if you constantly keep rage quitting and rage quitting, that number will stack up against you, and you will be banned from online permanently from your account. No. So if hands or butts. Fuck. What really? happens? Now, you... There is a issue with that though, because mm -hmm. God forbid if your internet goes off on you in the middle of a match, or power goes out, or anything like that. No, just say hypothetically that happens though. And that number keeps stacking up against you, you'll be disbarred from a line. It doesn't like the number go down after like a month or two. Mm -hmm. Nope, it's <laughs> when, permanent. When, uh, it's always when, been like that for Tekken. It's permanent. The disconnect ratio is permanent. Mm. Is when permanent. I was uh when I was playing tag two, I encountered someone that had a thirty percent disconnection rate. Yeah, no, here's also another thing too. Um, unlike the other games, though, your online information is tied to your account, so you can't like say delete your save file and start over again. Damn. They are brutal. Like, I understand trying to combat rage quitters, but some people, they have disconnects. Don't take it out on everyone. If yeah. someone, like, rage quits a lot, just give them a flare or something if they do it, like, more than 10 times. Mm. That's what DBFC does. I know what. Uh... Yeah, that's good. I've I think also... the reason. Mm. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, I think the reason why, like, a lot of low priority queue stuff ends up not working in fighting games is because they never know who was the one that actually disconnected. Because I'm pretty sure KI used to do that, but they stopped because instant people were getting banned. And SF5 did it for a little while, and then a bunch of people got banned, and they're like, well, we gotta roll that back. Actually, now that I think about it, uh, I would say the net code, the worst net code, worse than Street Fighter Five, has to be the, uh, what is that game? The 30th anniversary collection on Switch, <laughs> by far. All, that, would, are you also going to count Ultra Street Fighter 2? No, I never played. Well, I heard that's even better than uh, than the Anniversary Collection for that game. It's not code. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. Hopefully we'll start seeing better net code across the board in all games. But I feel like uh, they'd have to pay Bandai a cut or something. So. Oh, yeah, they had to. It was their service. That's true. I was going to say something mm -hmm. um, in terms of uh, you encountering someone. Uh, in Fighters and Tekken, I've encountered someone that had like a different color to their name. I don't know if that actually means anything, but I would always uh, think it means uh, this person had like some disconnection problem. What, the um, little square boxes next to their names? No, no, no. They, they have like, they're, like normally you encounter someone in Dragon Ball Fighters, when you see someone, most of the times their names are white. You can see other people's names that, that appear purple, mm. green, and stuff like that. Oops. Same thing in Tekken. Uh, in Tekken 7, I, I, I saw someone with uh, a purple in their name. Mm. Like, like no, pur purple lettering. I'm pretty sure if you're purple in Dragon Ball Fighters, it means you're a rage quitter. Was, uh. was the person's name Renegade Operative? No, <laughs> fuck off. I never rage quit. <laughs> uh-huh. Somebody in the Twitch chat's name is Purple. Does that mean they rage quit? Twitch chat? No. Maybe. That's fine. Damn. It's all good. Um, anybody else have any thoughts on Tekken 7? Uh, did I miss anything that people want to talk about? Uh, did we talk about the actual new characters? <laughs> Anna and um, Leia? Yeah. Oh, I, I do want to say this. Anna is Bay. And... Hey, Amen. I always thought um, she was in the game already. No, that was Nina, fool. <laughs> well, same thing. Death by degrees, man. Let's go. And uh, uh, I can't and wait Nina for is still my first love. The same. But as I said, Anna is fucking lit. And uh, I can't wait 
mm. for the uh, the three other characters to be revealed. E- although I am speculating on Julia and Armor King. I will gotcha. say yes. John Cosmo. Give me a reason to go and go back online. Armor Can we King. Get, mm-hmm. Can we get Julia's luchador persona? JC. Oh, no. JC. Oh, not yeah. JC. I'm sorry. Don't ask him for shit. People are wanting Ganryu in the game again. I thought, I thought you were going to say Ganryu. Like Gone, like Gone, man, Ryu. my little raptor boy. Let's go. Can we get Tekken Tag 3? No. Yeah, give it time. Probably in 2022. Uh, I'll wait. Um, I was going to ask about something. Shit, I forgot. Can I ask a quick question about Tekken? No. Yeah, go ahead. Are there any ninjas in Tekken? Yeah. Uh, Yoshimitsu Raven. technically. The Rage Quitters. They, ninja, they <laughs> stealth Isn't get Yoshi away. technically a Ronin, not a ninja? I don't know. I, Raven. I mean, like a, like a, kind of like a traditional ninja, you know? Traditional uh, ninja? Master yeah, Raven. the Master Raven and Raven were technically the closest thing to ninjas. Um, uh, I was gonna say. Top of my head, that, um, Konimitsu, though, she's one. And... Oh, yeah, Konimitsu, right. Fuck. I think that's all of them, from the top of my head, at least. I, I was gonna say, let's throw Kagamaru in this Oh, game. I remember now. Um, are these returning characters free? I believe. No, they're part nope. of the season pass. You got oh yeah. From. I, somebody said that Harada said that all the returning characters were going to be free. Yeah, but you know, I guess Corporation came in like not them. You got to charge these characters. Oh, okay. times change. Yep. War never changes. <laughs> War has changed. Um, anybody else have anything they want to say about Tech Me before I move on? And that's hot. Let's move on. All right, we're gonna talk about Arika real quick. Arika fighting uh, Layers EX. They yes. revealed not during Evo, but it was like uh, it's the side turn. It? it was it was on uh, yeah, people saw it on Twitter more than they did on Evo. Um, <laughs> but Vulcan and Pollum, yes, Pui Pui. Volcano, and uh, free characters that you'll get free. Yeah, they got officially revealed, so that's pretty cool. And uh, Terry Bogard. Terry, but male the real Terry surprise right there. Let's go. No, yeah. male yeah. Terry Bogard. Yeah, male Terry Bogard. I do, uh, I do want to say that I'm. I really love the, the announcer that they have because it sounds like those old timey announcers that they they can barely speak English. Terry Bogard. Terry Bogard. Oh, yeah. Terry yeah, Bogard that, coming to Netflix. Terry Bogard. That's a uh, '97. Uh, yeah. The announcer. Really. <laughs> I think I I wouldn't say it's either ninety six or ninety seven that announced his name. Damn, they got the SNK peeps. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. It's obvious that they have to add next then. They have a stage for him too. That's pretty boss. Yes. Not a lot of uh, fighting games are putting stages in their show. No, this is the this is probably one of the only games so far that's doing that. Yeah. If not the the only. I really like the stage they show Volcano Rosso on in that DLC trailer. I don't know why. Like the giant golden snake in the background. looks really nice to me. Mm-hmm. Also, what happened to all those Data Mind SF5 stages? Where did those go? <laughs> I don't know. I was just I was just thinking about what happened to my dirty bathroom stage. I was thinking about that too, but instead we got the a Mena stage. I mean a costume. <laughs> Metal Lardy's costume. So far, so far we only got Sakura and Sagat stage. Which looked great, by the way. So got to look great. Um, yes. But yes. the only thing I can think of is maybe season four, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, anybody else have any thoughts on Terry Bogard, uh, Volcano, Rosso, and Pullum? And I this think also- they... Yeah, yeah. I was about to say that. They also hinted at Sharon and Arya. Yep. Yeah. Oh, those characters. Yeah. So get hype if you're hype, or resident sleeper if you're resident sleeper. Got to get all the uh, EX characters back, man. Yes. Also, yeah. I think I think it's a nice surprise coming from um, Flex, because like a couple months ago, the future of this game was kind of in doubt. They didn't know if it was going to sell or anything, but you're getting your new DLC characters and even Terry Bogard. It's That's really true. nice for Rico. They no were joke. they were like, eh, now we're getting Terry Bogard. That's a big big step. That is a big step. Anybody else have any thoughts on Terry Bogard and the other characters that were shown and teased? All right, Erika, I gotta ask you something. Is SNK is not listening to my cries? Mm-hmm. Can we get oh, the USA boy. sports team in flex? Fuck. Oh, Honest no. question. Bring them back. 
If I hear that song in the new trailers, I'll let you know. They're in a mobile game. I gotta play that. That's all I'm gonna say. You know, it's it's yeah. all right. Oh, I want it just for them though. Show up and buy them. I support you, these. You I know, got one of them in the mobile game for free. Hmm. You know who I want to see in Fighter EX Slayer? I want to see Dan Hibiki in there. I don't know <laughs> yeah, why, but I feel like he'd fit. What's taking him getting Dan and SF5 yeah, it's a, even? You it's know? Tyler Stallion. Would you get that game if they added Dan instead of Street Fighter? Oh, yeah. Son of a Come on, taunt some motherfuckers. They got Alan, who's like the Ken Dan, you know? Mm -hmm. Now you get Terry, Skolomini, and Dan. All in one. Oh, yeah, I'm there. That'd be pretty cool. Anybody have any other thoughts on this before I move on? All right, uh, we're going to talk about Nintendo, smelly Nintendo. If you guys have been smelling something from your monitors, it's probably been Nintendo. Um, yeah. They have a game coming up, and uh, they got two, char two characters? Three? Three. Three characters that were revealed, which were... Uh, is it Simon Belmont? Well, actually four, sorry. It's one of the Belmonts, Richter and uh, K. Rule. It's uh, Simon and Richter, Belmont, Chrome, bitch ass, and King K. Rule. Oh, yeah. yeah. And don't forget about Dark Samus. Oh, yeah, yeah that too. Oh. That is tight. Your thoughts on these smelly characters? He Fucking finally, with Simon. Simon. Mm -hmm. King K. Rool. So we have. Mm -hmm. Damn near naked Samus, we have normal Samus, and we have black Samus. Okay, I can rock with this. <laughs> Too many Samuses, but not enough Chocolate fire Samus. emblem. Chocolate Samus. Krom? I oh yeah, Krom. Krom's like, Krom is actually a make- he, he's not really an Echo Fighter. Uh, just cause he, he's a mixture of- Ike and somebody Ike else. Ike and Roy, I would say. Yeah, Ike and Roy. Prom is so but, cool. Go ahead. But it's another guy with sword. But he's cool, and he has a cape on the over his shoulder. So does yeah, like, an assist trip. Oh, everybody bad. on Fire Emblem. And his daughter's hot. That is true. I'll give you that one. Yeah, Zero is an assist trophy. I wish he was playable. But... Shovel Knight is Black. also an assist trophy. And yeah, uh, so. Alucard from Tiffany the Night. Waluigi. When's Sub Zero? <laughs> right? <laughs> when is Vega? Never. When is Dan Hibiki? Never. 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 When is Never. Renegade Operative? We're, call we're calling cross tag Mugen, but Smash has slowly been creeping into Mugen territory. Yeah. They well. already been like that for a while. So. Uh, I, will, I will comment on Smash, but Resident Sleeper, so uh, that's how I feel yeah. about it for now until I get Ultimate. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people said Dante. Is a rumor if that's the case. Shut I would love that. Put Dude, the Dante on, from Devil May Cry sticker right on that well, cover. No, hold, hold, on, Ren, hold on, Ren. There was rumors that you know Virgil might be in Smash. Yeah. Either, either or would be great. I would love that. Shut up. Don't don't make him a stupid assist trophy, please. Oh yeah, that's a trophy for Bayonetta. <laughs> oh. Just make him art that you unlock. That's it. Oh fuck! Man, uh, fuck like a, no. no, a trophy. One of the trophies. Nah. Wait, which which form of Dante? Black haired Dante from DMC? Wait, that right? guy we don't talk about exist. DMC four Dante. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. My... Don, like with an O. Don. Dante. My Dante. Bad. Dante. Yeah, that's his name. Dante. I thought we called him Dino. That stands for Dante and name only. Oh. That works too. Alright. Are we gonna talk that's about it. the uh, two guys that were holding up the tournament? Because they were being done. Like, I heard they kiss or something. Like, is that true? No, what it's the, not that true. was a different thing. Whoa, that was oh. a different thing. Some guy. I think it was during guy. the Marvelous Capcom Infinite. Two dudes made out on stage. They're yeah. like boyfriends. It's like That's Renegade nice. and like kids move. Man, all right. No, no, <laughs> I'm gonna go on like Reapers kissing men on stage. No. Like that's no, fine, but this. really, get a room. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. LGB. LGB community is pretty strong at the tournament scene now. Yeah, so trying to hold it up. Yeah, shout out to them. Ren, say shout out to all the guys that are kissing. 
Stop holding up tournaments. There you go. Yeah, so basically... They're not smash games. Come on. Basically I what... I you said they're smashing. Shut that up. would have been weird. They're, that's a whole different thing, okay? Hold on, that's... hold on. They need to fucking take a shower? Yeah. Use deodorant still? Like, what are you still doing not doing that? What's going on? Yeah, I don't know. Like, that's ridiculous. That happened up at the college it's I went to. 2018, and y'all still not... Taking a shower or the only when you go into a smash church. Come on, fam. It's like a general nerd problem, it seems. Yeah, yeah. it is. Like, I guess smash tourneys have body odor. Uh, terrific. Um, I was talking Nash. about what happened during the tournament for context. I'm not sure what these gentlemen's names are, uh, but there were two Bayonetta players, and you know how people feel about Bayonetta and Smash. Uh, they got booed every chance mm. they got. People walked off uh, for the final. To show disrespect as the smash community does you know um so the guys took it upon themselves to be um funny quote unquote funny and they held down a button some charge move that bayonetta has and they pretty much held the button and they were laughing talking they took selfies uh you know sure. just a bunch of random shit until the organizer came up and was like hey you guys need to play you know there's a time and shit like that yeah People were absolutely pissed. disgusting. <laughs> People said, "How dare these two disgusting Bayonetta players hold up the tournament and make a mockery of what is the Smash community?" Okay, okay. that's why we don't. Hold on. Hold on. All right, <laughs> All right. Hold back up. Okay. okay, I'm gonna say this right now: the Smash community is a bunch of juvenile morons. Facts. Uh, yeah, you, I mean, name one tournament you hear people actually went out the way to fool just because you're picking a character that you don't like. Facts. I Jesus love Christ. Smash. They wanted her in the freaking game. They got her. And she was nerfed because they had a whole patch in those days to nerf her. And she's so good, apparently. And yet, you people still complain. Like, you can't win with these people. Yeah. There's the reason yeah. why they take them seriously. There's the reason why these people don't take them seriously because they're a bunch of morons. Yeah. It seems like the Smash guys are really, 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 really stupid. And smelly. Why are you walking out during the finals? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, come on. And they're yeah. kind of hypocritical yeah. as well. Yeah. I like Smash. I like playing it, but when I hear shit like this, it makes me die. And yeah, <laughs> like come on, guys. There's some other Smash news. Just pick Captain Falcon. There you go. That's how you win. There's other community shit that was going on. Like, uh, fucking top tier players were kicking amateurs off their chairs because they wanted to warm up. So there was what like. The fuck is this middle school? So was I like, think that was a that was a debate I mean, thing, wasn't it? That's you the brought... average age of a Smash player, right? No, that, middle school. <laughs> that that was for that. I Damn. think was it's not Hurt Box. Hurt <laughs> Box is our friend. It's a Hug Box or whatever. Hungry some box. box. Hungry Box. It's whatever happened with him. I guess he tried to kick somebody else, and people were like, "Oh, top, uh, top tier privilege or some shit like that." I don't know. Ugh. And I think I think it was a whole debate of like who gets priority at a casual setup do the casuals playing it or does someone like money matching get oh, yeah, to play yeah. it mm -hmm. by preference and yeah. the hungry box said yeah kick the fucking casuals off and everyone called him a bitch basically yeah. that's the whole rundown of that drama he got upset and was like fuck this community because it's pretty shitty it's almost as bad as the injustice one so smash uh community is gonna smash community you know it's a tradition yep <laughs> but then they want sponsorship. Yeah, 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 yeah it's a okay. shower person. Then you get one. I, I, mm. I would not be surprised if Disney turns them down in the next tournament. Yeah, stop being raging rejects. Maybe you'll get money. Oh, then you saw that guy. Sorry. <laughs> uh, anybody else have any uh, thing they want to talk about for Nintendo other than the fact that they have super bars instead of Smash Balls now? Why? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 Isn't that an option? Can't you do either? Yeah, it's an option. But... Oh, that's good then. Nah, I'd rather be super meters. I mean, at least you can choose yeah. like between the two. So. No. Look, I don't. I don't want this to be like PlayStation All Stars. Nah. Oh. Where everyone just picks Kratos and whoops ass. Or yeah. don't say it, ironically. <laughs> or uh, the guy from yeah, Killzone. Right, what's his name? I remember they still didn't enough don't take and people still play that game online. Oh, that's going to have to be an adventure one day. They yeah, still 
Brandon can tell you too. We played it the other day. Yeah, yeah. we were playing it, and uh, he, uh, I think you were the Killzone guy, and I was playing as Dante, yeah. and we were shredding dudes. Mm -hmm. I was Radic. Radic is still boss. There, that's his name. Thank you. That's um, why I like it. Anybody else got any thoughts on Smash before I move on to the last, well, the last big company in the nether is like a small one. Uh, well, um, Waluigi's dead. Give up on the dream. Wow. Yeah, go play, go play Shrek Super Slam instead, all right? Yeah. Zero being assist trophy is lame. No, fuck you. Lame. Can I yeah, get lame. Black Shadow as Captain Falcon Echo Fighter? He ought, in my opinion, I honestly think Zero would work as a playable character. Yeah, if you see? Yeah. If, if they chose to use his uh, X4 counterpart. Give yeah, it up. Say, yeah. Give it up, nerds. That's a W. <laughs> Anyways, uh, next company, Capcom, Capitacom. Capcom. Capcom. Um, I want to have my insider Hades talk about this input lag situation with the PS4. Can you please, uh, okay. tell us in the audience what's going on? Okay, it, it, it's kind of really fucked. I'll, I'll parse it down, put it as simply as possible, but input lag in Street Fighter V is variable, which, over the course of a round, the input lag will change from anywhere between four to seven frames. Jesus. Why we don't fucking know, but there are, uh -huh. there are theories and shit, but we have no idea why this is a thing. And I'm just Hold like, on. I can't believe that's real. Hold on, is this is this offline or when you play it online? It's hard coded offline. Oh my god, that's hmm. whack. That explains a lot, actually. Yeah, Next have you ever on. missed time to meaty or missed an anti-air? Yes. It might yeah. have been the game's fault entirely, not you. Yeah, that happens to me quite Yeah, a maybe that's why I couldn't do Falk's last uh, combo trial. You can lag. Mm, wow, that shit was hard. So much. Yeah, like, it really... I think it's been in the game since beta, but I'm not sure you're gonna have to double-check me on that one, but yeah, like... They have variable input lag in SF5, and we can't figure out why. And from what I checked, if I remember correctly, that's like the only game that has this problem offline. Well, most of the games are fine offline. Yeah, a guy, the guy that did the tests, he tested like every fighting game on the market right now, and it was SF5 and the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection that was just wildly unstable. Everyone else, like, good stability. The game with the least input lag, fun fact, is Koihime Enbu, so go play that, I guess. Hmm. Whatever the fuck that, that is. is. I don't either, but apparently has like two frames of input lag. Alright, that's pretty good, actually. Capcom, what are you doing, man? Yeah, I, I kind of need to Capcom. know why, because I only have theories as to why this is a thing, not anything real. I really doubt they would explain themselves. It's been... A lot of people have been talking about the input lag for years now. I think most people are just used to it at this point, so they just kind of throw up their hands and give up, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, you have to keep playing or you quit. Up to you. I have, was seeing some things on Twitter um, when it came to CEO, the tournament called CEO, that Capcom people were pulling aside players and asking for feedback. They did that for CEO and they did that for Evo. So here's hoping that they mention that net code and shit like that and here's hoping that they actually do something about it but will they i don't know i don't think so i feel like the game's like getting to like the end of the road and it's kind of too late anyways yeah um would it be cool if they added it sure i mean they gave have an idea of how they wanted to have street fighter 6 or whatever they want to call it and not fuck it up but Wishful thinking. Street Fighter Infinite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, no. Hey, uh, I, for reference, I think SF5 is going till 2020. That's what Ono yeah, said Yeah, I a think while that's back. what they said in a way to confirm years. It will be the last year of 2020. Lit. Which is a good thing, because we don't need to drag it on too long. So. Yeah. Uh, Capcom All-Stars, please? No, fuck that. Oh. Ono actually. keeps talking about that new Dark, a new dark Stalkers. And I, was I like, wouldn't no. mind that. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, oh no. Yeah. Take that man away. We have yeah. set that S kill back, please. Uh, you um, know, put back Insuno making fighting games again. He was really good at it. 
Uh, he's busy with MMR5 right now, so. He well, after he said after, he would do rival switch, I believe so. Him yeah, oh, man. Afterwards, put him back on fighting games and see what he can do. <laughs> um, you guys ready to move on to the next thing, or you guys have anything else you want to say? Um, I'm good. Okay. Oh, good. Um, yeah, I got nothing. I think Capcom surprised everybody when they showed off G. G seems like a pretty cool character for obvious reasons, and they also showed off Sagat. Um, very cool character, very good looking uh, 3D wise, and his stage is amazing. And the most surprising bit is that they were both released the following day, right after. Uh, that was a major surprise. That was hype, man. Everybody got riled up in the that audience. That was great. Yeah. Uh, good PR, releasing them like on the same day so people could buy them. Yeah. Uh, did mm. anybody here like play those characters? Any thoughts? Yes. I played a uh, Sagat yesterday. He feels pretty slow, but other than that, he actually is pretty nice to play as. Hey, as long as he has like reach and tiger knee, that's all I need. Yeah, yeah. See, he does have the tiger knee. You have yeah. double the reach because of the Kara. So. If you do the Kara DP, you have double the reach. Uh, Jeez. I got a question actually. Um, mm -hmm. what is his um B skill? B oh. skills are the first one is he does more tiger shots, so you can like combo tiger shots. No, no, no. B skills together. that triggers. That's oh, oh, skill, uh, like, he puts um, his hand. Both oh. mediums. My mm -hmm. bad. Uh. Uh, his uh, Sagat's V skill is where he puts his hand over his chest, you know, where he got the scar from Ryu, mm -hmm. and oh. it doubles the power of his tiger uppercut. That's true. He grabs his nipple oh, and he powers up. Oh, what the heck? Oh, my nipples, they hurt. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much, yeah, he grabs his nipple and, uh. Oh, sauce. I squeezes the fuck out of it. Yeah. Oh, my oh. God. This is podcast. It, he gives it, himself uh, a purple nipple. That's right. Doesn't he say house. something hilarious when he does his ultimate tiger nipple bombs? Ryu! No. Tiger nipple, there you go. Um, what was he gonna say? G is actually, well, I'm not gonna say he's actually Q. It's kind of hard to say because you play his story and shit like that and it does not point to anything regarding Q. Uh, well, real quick though, there's mm -hmm. actually a video, um, what's, what's his face? G has a lot of Use all mode animations from Street Fighter 3. But That's the problem right. is, though, like, how does that correlate to him, though? Because he doesn't have firepower in Street Fighter 3. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is now time for Reapers' is conspiracy theories. I think what happened was that G started to. Well, he stopped taking power from the earth entirely. And so his moves are kind of shitty. If you see how his moves are in Third Strike, it's kind of. He does like a, a drop kick and he falls on his face. Uh, his little kick thing doesn't come out all the way. So he's not taking power from the earth anymore. So his moves are not that great. Um, so I I guess that's what happens. It's just lack of I actually energy. have a theory as well. Go I think ahead. he's actually part of the Illuminati, at least worked with them at one point. Because his powers do look identical to that of Urine and Gills. Eh. Oh, we need less gills on the planet, please. Facts. <laughs> like, no, uh, it won't be too um, out there because look at Colleen. She got her powers from Illuminati, and Gil has both fire and ice, and Colleen has ice. So I, I guess you could say that he got his fire from uh, the Illuminati as well. Mm -hmm. Same thing for Urine. So uh, it is a possibility that he did work for Illuminati at one point. That seems to be the central Street Fighter Three plot. Everything is Illuminati based. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of like the music industry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of like real life. Yeah. Damn. All I got to say about these character reveals is light them up. I love that light shit. Light them up, baby. Light them up. They kind of shot their wad early, though, wouldn't you say? Announcing Sagat this soon? Uh, I think it's good. There was good. also a rumor that we won't get free characters later in the year. So. Yeah. Hey. From that Das Bergaben fellow. Watch, yeah. watch one of the characters be Q. I'll be like... Uh, no, but according that... to him, it's Viper Sodom, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's a no, lot of no, characters. Do you really want Sodom in there? That guy. I, that... That's what he said. He said free characters, Viper Sodom. Not even joke. I, Hades I know wants you're him praying, in there too. though, so it could be true. It's cool. That guy. I mean, no, that guy that leaked it also leaked Simon Belmont, Richter, and K. Rule. And he came true with that. Yeah. He also leaked the season two of NBCI. That never happened. 
Oh, fun, fun fact. Yeah, fun fact. Fun fact. Yeah, yeah. Gil, Gil was going to be in season two of NBCI, apparently. He's supposed to be a secret no! character. Yes. Star Lord, Miss um, Marvel, Asura, Lady Gil, and either Rashid or Virgil was allegedly the season two Those of. Um... Then again, though, remember though, we don't know that's been confirmed or not yet because Paracom is being on a download with NBCI, so that could be true. But... They're gonna bury it. <laughs> I wish they. Buried. I wish if they are burying it, just say, "Hey, we're done with this game, so stop expecting it." So people yeah. can stop expecting it. Yeah, you yeah. fucking cowards. Just say you're done with it. Because I feel or like people I are going to get pissed. Season 2, here we go. Buy it right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to give you Squirrel Girl and all the shitty oh. X-Men that no one wants. Um, I think the reason why they shot their load very quickly is because they want Season 4 to be out. And I do think that Q being on Season 4 kind of holds weight because if he's free... You know, we have Q already, so why would we pay for another Q? So they, if they are going to do the free thing, that kind of makes sense that Q would be free. But, I don't know. That would be cool, but I doubt it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, But uh, we did talk about this last podcast without half of you guys. Um, what is your wish list for Season 4? Oh, Street Fighter? Yeah. Give me a second. So how many? How many? Soda, Soda, Makoto. Yes. Fuck. Who else? <laughs> Can't think straight. Uh. If you say E Honda, I'm kicking you. Uh, I mean, uh, he's the last World Warrior. That's I don't not give a crap. That's all I'm saying. That is true. That is the true. last OG World Warrior to not be in the if game. You say so T Hawk. a Honda hater? I hate Honda and I hate T Hawk and I hate. Yeah, Akon. I don't like Why do you hate either. Thawk? Come on, man. He's got I, I, I hate T Hawk more. Where's Ooh. DJ? Come on. <laughs> yeah, DJ would make sense. No, but he's DJ black. DJ can have a standing medium that forces stands. It doesn't actually hit. Oh, that sounds like garbage. That's actually in Street Fighter 4, fun fact. Yeah. DJ's, I think, standing medium punch was supposed to force stand, but it didn't hit crouching. DJ characters. is such ass in that game. Wow. <laughs> this is a really funny moment in Street Fighter 4 history. Right Fei Long would be cool. Fei Long? Chicken Wing. <laughs> Oh, you mean, oh, Dudley, fuck. Why Dudley did I not think of my boy? Yeah, Dan. And Dan, too. No. Man, put back Hakan. Come on. Fuck Everyone no. needs the old boy. I'd Please rather have El Forte. Oh, no. Forte. I, I would take Forte. Hell yeah. Everybody honestly, hates Forte. Honestly, I we do. need to actually have the characters that were in the story mode for Street Fighter 5 to be playable before we have other characters outside of that. All Bring the dolls, like, yeah. like yeah. Abel, yeah. like, um, whoever else. Like, the Jeffrey or, um, all the dolls as one character. No! Oh, oh, Minty. <laughs> oh, like the Ginyu Force, you just call out the rest of them. They Actually, were pushing Abel like in Street Fighter 4, and then all of a sudden they dropped them. Yeah. Yeah. I hate Abel. I remember they were pushing Viper pretty hard. She got an, uh, she got an MVC 3, and then Jury happened. They're like, well, forget her. We have Jury now. She's oh, yeah. point. Why didn't they put the Camry? Maybe they could put it in Season 4. Because no, she was part of I the story. Want. Yeah, that and all. Yeah, again, Abel and then, no. Um... Oh, Rivers. I hate it. He hates grapplers. Dude, no, I I love grapplers, but he I hate Abel. Oh, no, you hate no, Abel? He, hates him. he sucks, and I hate fucking Rufus. Rufus is fucking annoying. Oh, oh I agree no with that. Rufus. Rufus could do a go oh. roll down a tub of a bar. Oh, mm-hmm. Eagle. And we got. What? What's that that killer instinct? Bring no, back. fucking Eagle, the, the British uh, guy with the sticks. He's awesome. I know one character that could stop Abigail. Hugo. I, uh, I know one character that could stop uh, Reaper's yeah. Relento. Fuck, yeah. Relento, dude. We bring have fought. Bring my boy back. Bring him back. Bring Plunger. More, bring the LTG would be happy. Yeah. Yes, he would be. Oh, Final I want... fight, the video oh, game. Oh, Maple the Storm. Fight. I forgot about her. Who? Put her in the game. Who? Maple Storm. Who the fuck is that? Yeah. Come on, man. Literally who? Literally female Brian Battler. Who the fuck oh, is I'm Brian Battler? Yeah. What I'm mocking. Oh, I can't fucking send that at all, as it turns out. Oops, Geese wrong image. Howard. So, uh, no, a Geese Howard again. Um, <laughs> Maki or um, that chick from Up. I'm um, pretty mad. Yeah, Maki would be great. Nah, fucking great. 
Maple Storm. Oh, that's what it is. What the heck give is me that? that ugly. Give me this this Canadian professional. Oh, uh, you're so oh. annoying, fucking oh, Hades. Just because it looks what? like the USA team. Fuck you. Hold on. What about Lux? She's Canadian. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, she's built like a steroid refrigerator. What's he wants on? another football guy. <laughs> that. oh, that's because oh, oh, that's because that SF five R style is fucking hideous. Hold oh, on. Oh, Renwood agreed to me on this. What, what did they bring bots to Street Fighter Five? They're Basu, not. you mean from uh, rival schools? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, rival schools is canon, surprisingly. I can see that as an extra battle yeah, costume. Are. No, no, no. Get a Kira in there instead. Not Be its own mind. character. A Kira's lit, man. I would yeah. go with that. Maki's a good pick, though. I'd pick Makoto any day. Um, Everyone. Would. Who else they could bring? Never put Yun and Yang. Well, Yang is oh. cool. Yun, no. Hell no. Are those like the twins? Yeah. Yeah, the twins. Ugh, I hate them. Everybody hated Yun. Why? He's so broken? Yeah. And Street Fighter Yun was. Yun's been broken since third strike. Hell yeah. If he does the stupid claw move, you're fucked. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Lin Kurosawa in this game, too. Necro. No! Nah. We got mm. Dazzle and Blanca. We don't need him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but um, we already discussed this before. Um, actually, yeah, um, Dan Hibiki. Dan Hibiki. Hey, that's the gate. Bring twelve back. Twelve. Yeah. The blob, the blob things that uh electrocuted <laughs> you. Yeah. Oh, yes. God. Hey, can we talk about how Sagat in the story mode almost became evil Sagat? Yes. That was going to be hype. I didn't even know that, that was possible. That Unless was the hot dose. Interesting to you? You can have it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. That What'd was you think about it? interesting premise. Uh, I hope they experiment okay. in the future because I mean, Sagat is not in Street Fighter Three canon, so maybe something happened to him. He's actually Q. You what know the I mean? a cool mm. design though. If his scars start glowing reddish purple with the aura coming out of it, that'd be cool. Oh man, that'd be lit. Well, something tells me that if he is in Street Fighter Six, he's going to be in the uh, rotation for the characters you have to fight and get fight money from. He's yeah. gonna take all my fucking fight money. Evil Sagat, it's happening. Don't get me started on that shit. Oh, Bob Saget. Damn, that means that Dan could be Evil Dan from Mugen. That'd be awesome. <laughs> well, that dude has your psycho. Yeah. Yeah, like a pink racial demon, but he tripped on something, so it flopped around, it flopped on the ground. Evil Sean, that'd be great. Yeah, what? He, Sean. he throws the Fuck. basketball, then he does like the friggin' raging. Oh, demon. yeah. Speaking of Sean, though, when I have him in Street Fighter 5, no. Hell Sakura, yeah. Sakura and no. Sean. No. Why doesn't anybody like Sean? Sean is fucking cool. Because he's a fucking dork and canonically weaker than Dan. That's all right. Well, <laughs> is that true? Look You're at fucking sister, mine. Like, bosses he around. actually is, though. What? One of his wing quotes in fucking Street Fighter Three is "Don't be Dan." <laughs> He's oh. weaker than him, and this is this is would be him. It's Mister Psycho. This is your, well, your evil Dan. Man. Well, mm -hmm. in Street Fighter Two, Street Fighter Three Second Impact, he was really broken. Yes, he was. And then they 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 nerfed him to shit in Street Fighter Third Strike, and he became like. Really, a really bad character. Became meme tier. Someone said, "Violent Ken, nigga, I'm about to have an orgasm." Oh. Yes. Oh. Wait, 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 extra wait, battle. Wait. Uh, uh probably in uh SNK Chaos. No, sure. I think you mean the uh, psycho power one? Mm. That's the only way for him to have the violent power. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where he got possessed by Bison. Ow. Fuck, man. I like the SNK version better. Yeah, with an afro. Like a white afro, yeah. Yeah, and he's actually fucking unbelievable. Nigasan, Nigasan. Nibasan. Um, Italian Stallion, you said you have five characters you wanted to say? I do. They're right there, but I will say them again for the art. I have Fei Long. Okay. I have Dan, obviously. Okay. I have Dudley. I have Goken. Mm -hmm. Oh, Goken. And, and uh, oh. Geki. Gotcha. Okay. Actually, okay. are we talking about which five characters do we want in Street Fighter Five? Yeah, it was a wish list for season four. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. I've got one. Okay. Um, guy. All right. Ooh, that's a good one. Mm. Um, Eagle, Gen. Oh, Gen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Gohibiki, Dan's father. 
Oh <laughs> man. You son of a guy, go. <laughs> yeah, and, okay. and and Violet can actually. Yeah, actually. I feel like that's extra battle costume. No. Okay. okay, my list is gonna be short and sweet. Uh Seth? Seth? Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck Seth. you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> Fuck off! So I'm gonna kick Ren. Honda <laughs> Engine. Well, actually, I didn't mind him though, but he's not groundbreaking. Yeah, he's pretty much an amalgamation of like all the other characters. <laughs> but I just said that to piss people off because he pissed me. He pissed me off so bad in Street Fighter. <laughs> Man, the worst. History. I still remember that brutality. Jesus. I was gonna ask you, Hades. I, I don't know if I asked you this before, but what do you think if they do add soda, Sodom? So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think his V triggers would be? Oh God! <laughs> what would his V triggers be? Do they have to like lock moves away? So just think about it like that, I guess. <laughs> you know how mad I would be if they locked his katanas behind a V trigger, know. man. Aww. I'd fly off the handle. I go to Capcom HQ. I'm pretty sure doing? that's what's what's gonna happen. Dude. It's like katana Don't... mode and like some other weapon. GTA. Yeah. V trigger one, katana V trigger two. I'd be so mad. <laughs> Sodomy mode. Oh, um, mm -hmm. let me let me switch my answer. Okay. Uh, don't put eagle, put Oni Akuma. Ooh. I would still take oh. eagle. I would still take eagle over we, that guy. Well, we already have Cody. Oni coming back. I'm fine. Cody replaces eagle on the uh, arcade mode. Oh, does he? Yeah, uh, he does. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If oh. you do Street Fighter One arcade mode, Cody is eagle. Oh, right. That's uh, right. is it because of the outfit he has mm -hmm. on, right? Yeah. Okay. Man, put my yeah, boy. But... Oh, um, mm -hmm. okay then. It, instead of Oni Akuma, how about Maki from Final Fight 3? Fuck yeah. That's good. I like that. Oh, I, got, I was gonna I got say put my idea. boy, uh, Hagar in there real quick. Nah. I, I think they keep... Idea. If there's ever going to be another versus, Hagar is probably just going to be in the series, to be honest, because Geef is going to be in Street Fighter. That's yeah, thing. I can see that. Uh, anybody else have anything they wanted to say? Yeah, I got one more. Mm -hmm. uh, e Honda. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm for I'm for Honda just to complete the original Street Fighter two. People cast, say that, so. but it's like it's mad annoying, dude. I don't want to fuck. Eight on then. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Give okay. okay. gamer B as character. Uh, man. The champ. If they make his voice nice and better, then I'll be okay with it. I don't him, care, but... dude. Put Yang back, though. Put Yang. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Put Yon in there just in case I'm taking her own. Yes. Let's relax. Yes. Let's just let's relax. Yeah, relax. <laughs> Use Yon and Yang. Oh, Brandon has an idea. You're gonna put eight on. Might as well put Yon. Oh, what's the uh, what's that one character? But he takes X. Uh, twelve. Oh, twelve. Put oh, twelve in there. Oh, yeah, just a renegade there. Everybody doesn't like him. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. I'll take all your hate. Oh, put on. Who, who else had? Put on. Uh, what's this dude name? Remy. Put Remy back. You know, yeah, from Remy. Street Fighter Three. Nah. Yeah. Three yeah. Sonic yeah. Boom. Jack's gonna be happy about it. What about, Emo what about Guile. The, what about the dude that throws the sun at you? What's his name? Oro. Which one? Oro. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. booger. Oh, he should have been there. He's he was part of the. Was the prologues? He's part of that leaked, quote unquote, rumored leaked character list. Yeah. He's part 12. of the free people. Yeah, twelve. Well, we'll have X cop. Yeah, I was reading the chat. Fuck. Yeah. Wait, who else they got in there? Fuck T Hawk. Hey T Hawk. Would you I get to see Oro's dick like you could in Third Strike or no? What the, the fuck? What the heck? Okay, back You've up. You've never seen that frame? There's like next, a brief frame of animation. Topic, I've it's never bothered strike. to look. I never. Yeah, I, don't I, usually I, don't I would send know. it, but you're streaming it right now, right? Blue. Yeah, I usually don't look yeah. for dicks. I mean, they're, they're not going to show it in the, in the, you know. Don't look for dicks. Let's put it in the chat. Well, I, I don't know if you have the well, Discord posted on. No, it's not. All right, I'm going to send it then real quick. Um, oh, oh boy! For, edu oh. for educational purposes, you can see Oro's Wang in this fucking. Oh this shot. boy! What a nightmare! <laughs> Man, what a day this is! <laughs> I'm bringing all my obscure fighting game knowledge to the forefront of this podcast, and that's why we're the best. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, um, how about they should bring uh, Karen's Butler as a playable character? Okay, they said Karen's butt. Yeah, was... <laughs> just a giant ass that can do... <laughs> a giant ass that can do recas. Yes. Um, it's, it's the, 
Is, oh, is the... um, mm -hmm. I was gonna say, why don't we add like the Bison dolls from Alpha Three, Juni and Julie? Julie. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll get more uninspired uh, the more I think about them. Funny, but, they didn't do much other than using Cammy's cannon spike. Man, where is Hugo at? You know, I, I'm actually for the idea of um like pulling like a um Captain Ginyu type thing where you can summon other dolls to like perform moves, make yeah. combos. I wanted I, I like want them, I'd be okay with that. I good. hope they have different moves now than just Cammy's cannon spike moves. I wanted uh, Necro to be in there and have a V trigger that it's kind of like Vism, like but his girlfriend helps him. So when he punches, his girlfriend punches and like copy his shit. That'd be pretty cool. But uh, anything else about this? We're like almost two hours in. You guys have anything else you want to say? Uh, did you know they added a Sagat SF1 skin to the loot boxes in SF5? Absolutely. I got it. Oh, really? <laughs> Are you yeah. lucky for? If you beat people, if you beat people with that skin, it has the original defeat quote from SF One in it too. Lit. Oh, I got that's a lot to learn before you beat me. Try again, kiddo. Yeah. Yeah. You uh, got a lot to learn to beat me. What strength? But don't forget, there are many guys like all over the world. Try again, kiddo. If, hey, quick question: Has anyone taken the time to beat SF One? Yes. Yeah. yeah oh, God. I tried. I got to Sagat, and I was like, I tapped. Good old Sky I, days, man. I think I would rather get hit by a car than play that game. That's so fucking hard. I kind of want to get the collection. Mm, he beats you in two hits, and you're dead. And, in that game, everything was broken, because you could kill people with a Shoryu with one Shoryu, because it was three individual yeah. hits that did 33% damage each. So That's actually one. accurate in real life. If you get hit with a Shoryu in real life, you'd actually die. <laughs> You just fucking die. Yeah. yeah, but that being game accurate, that, that doesn't sound fun. Also, the the thing I learned about playing SF1 is, mm -hmm. you know how you normally do moves at a fighting game? It's like motion press, right? Mm -hmm. Well, with that game, it's time to the release of your button, so you have to do the motion and then release the button. Jesus it's, Christ. Jesus is it? Up. Yeah, that's how SF1 works. You have to hold the button, do the motion, then release the button. That's oh. gay. That's, that's like how I, ninja bullshit right there. That's, that's SF1 though, man. That was like proof of concept before they ironed out all the details. That's like pretzel fucking your controller. Like, like who came up with this concept? Why uh, Capcom? Like I said, it was it, it was just, SF1's a proof of concept. They proved you could do something like that, and they ironed out all the details in two. Oh yeah, majorly. Because it's like the better game. Show you can, show you can. Weren't, weren't combos like an accident? Yeah, yeah that's, was. that's yeah. true too. It's like a glitch. Very interesting. And that's how supers happened. Um, anybody else have uh, anything else you wanted to say? No, I'm going. Also, Hades, delete this now, please. <laughs> delete what? Oh, or else Wang. Okay, I'll get rid of it just for you. Um, there you go, bud. The last thing I want to talk about is not really a big game. It's just something I saw you guys post, and I was like, oh, it kind of looks like AI slash uh, oh, that. Mortal Kombat, and it's called Omen of Sorrow. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty much a fighting game based off of famous classic Hollywood uh, monsters and shit like that, and it's yeah, that yeah. cool. What do you guys think about that? Uh, who, I don't know who it was, but someone said, uh, "Oh, it's a Terradome too, but better." That was me. Yeah, because yeah. uh, I've a Terradome Terradome two is out there, but it's using like a it has to obviously use um public domain monsters, and it just looks really like janky you know but this looks like a better version of that to be honest with you what's i heard what is it one of the dog stalkers people are doing the meme as well mm. i don't know if that's true or not it from the trailer it does seem like an indie title but it's probably one of the best indie fighting games i've seen uh, I'm gonna so, give it a shot. So I might, yeah. I might give it a shot, but hopefully it plays well. Uh, because what tends to happen is, I kind of said it looks like that God Fighter game that was on Steam as well. And, oh yeah, I and, hated that one. and I hated that. So I'm hoping this goes well. Like I said, the gameplay looks totally fine. So let's see if oh. I can find a character list oh, here. And, uh, for people who don't know, that game, uh, the game we're talking about now is also PS4 exclusive. Uh, you're you're talking about the uh, indie fighter? Yeah, it's only on PlayStation Four. Well, all right, P Xbox. 
Uh, oh. Brandon, is this something you want to talk about? Uh, yeah, they're improving the ranking system. That little bar in the bottom. All right. Um, Explain to everybody in the in the audience. Yeah, apparently, um, Ooh. basically you see your progress. That's mm-hmm. one improvement so far. And yeah, all this is in Japanese, so I don't know where everything is. I have, oh. I have a character list for Omen of Sorrow. That and also the whole record system generally going to be changed because, as you know, the higher you are in, in the um in the um gap, mm-hmm. uh, the more less players you'll find. So they're trying to change that around where people can fight anybody. Which is probably gonna be a bad thing, cause <laughs> yeah, if you fight somebody's like damn one, and you're like freaking um second prime god or whatever, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes! I keep forgetting the highest rank in Tekken. Jesus. Isn't it like Annihilator or some shit? No, it's Tekken God. Harada mode. God. God. That's been along those lines. Never seen those people at all. So. You never were able to see them because a, it's so rare. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And B, you get destroyed before you get up there. You'd be destroying one match. I'm like GG. Oh, the the indie fighter is also online, has GGPO on the network, so it's gonna be fine online. Okay, that's good. That's a plus. Yeah, I'm not I'm not fucking with it, but you guys might try it out. Man, what? of course you would say that. Yeah, yeah. You gotta have a thunder down for it. Yeah. For Maybe if it's like five dollars, it's Reaper's money. Yeah. See, there you go. It's gonna resident sleeper that real quick. Uh uh-uh. Nah, uh, he'd rather play Terra Drone. I see. I'm gonna oh, keep it real God. with you, Chief. Just saying that. That would be so. I tried playing the first Terra Drone. That shit pissed me right oh, off. Oh, uh, Italian Stallion, please read off your list for oh, the audience. Hmm? Uh, this is what I found online. These are, uh, I think that's seven of the confirmed, I think, characters for Omen of Sorrow. We have Gabriel. <laughs> I think that's the original the guy. Dr. Hyde, pretty self-explanatory, but it's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Uh, Caleb, who's a werewolf. I have no idea how to say this. Uh, Rade Gonda, who's a gargoyle. Dracula, Frankenstein's monster, and Quasimodo. Oh, the hunchback from Notre Dame? Yep. Liddy. Uh, Liddy like a titty, then, I suppose. There you go. <laughs> There'll be more. They'll add Chucky. They'll add Freddy Mercury. No. No. Michael Myers and, and, and the Scarecrow. Ooh, that'd be cool. Man, that fucking hitbox would be small as fuck. Like molasses with Chucky. Yeah. That's how it is Yoda. in the first Terror Drum. Yeah, yeah, yeah like Yoda from Soul Calibur. Oh, or, oh no. Or, or gone from Tekken 3, like that guest here. Oh, yeah. Game oh. developers, if you make a fighting game, please don't make your character super tiny. Yeah. Ant Man. <laughs> That'd be funny to see Ant Man doing moves. Beautiful Joe. Adam. Yeah. It is part of Hawkeye's <laughs> Super in Marvel 3, I know that much. Oh, that's cool. But I didn't like Adam, so <laughs> terrible character. Alright, is there anything else anybody wants to talk about or anything I missed that you guys want to discuss? Uh, nothing really, just no. no, no, no. I think we covered Tokyo everything. And... Wait, hold on. The Tekken Tokyo's master, um, the main, the person that won the um tournament was a Lily player. So, yay! But, <laughs> not uh... just, not just a Lily player. Literally, knee, the best Tekken player in existence right now. Yep. Wasn't even at Evo as well. How me. many knees? So the yeah, two. so the narrative here mm-hmm. is that everyone hates Lily. Yeah. No. The narrative it says right in the tweet. No, no everybody hates Lucky Chloe. Us. And also, if you hate Lucky Chloe, she is. She got. Both apparently. So. Why would you do this, Bamco? Come on. Well, right, let me see if we can get the clip. Oh man. What? What happened? Uh, apparently, Lucky season two, Chloe she got. got buff. Yeah, Lucky Whoa! Chloe got both. Apparently, yeah. Look at that. Why? Cool. I have no idea. Oh, and they gotta put him on Eddie. That's just memes. Why? Yeah. Oh, yeah, good, good. Okay, that's it. I got nothing else. We're getting this. Anybody else have anything they want to discuss? Yeah, I got nothing. Well, oh, hell. Fuck Lucky Chloe. Terrible. I it's like late. every other thing, she gets buffed no matter what the situation is. Hmm. I'm dead I guess people like meme characters. Get that ass nerf. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think that concludes this podcast. I want to. Thank you all for joining us in the chat and the stream. 
I want to thank anybody that takes the time to watch the actual video on YouTube until this point. Uh, you're a trooper. We're proud of you. Round of applause to the chat and the people watching. We're proud of you for suffering with us. You know? I really need a Yay. soundboard, dude. That would be a lot better. Get one. Um, sure. Reapers Suffer hating like every indie fighting game imaginable has to be a sound clip. Just, oh, and Fighter Z with like mini Goku. Just, we just need all the best like sounds for fighting games, like Eddie's loser and you have no dignity. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. Or, uh, uh, you know the the Fist of the North Star thing. I know that's not a fighting game. Oh, <laughs> hero, Shinryu, or whatever. I just want like eighty percent of it to be Reapers and the Void. That would fill my light with I'm life. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Arch needs to bring Fist of the North Star fighting game back with online. Well, we're, getting, yeah, we're getting that one by the touch the game. Developers. You know that, right? Everyone's gonna, everyone's gonna be mad. Yo, that game had like infinite combos in the yes. old Fist of the North Star game. That's yes. just broken. Yep. Yep. Can I just be Kenshiro and whoop everybody's ass? No. Yeah, with one Damn. combo. Oh, sweet. Sign me up. All right, guys, it's time to do our outro so we get the hell out of here. Uh, Renegade Operative, where can we find you, sir? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Ren Operative. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. You can find me on Twitter at Ren Operative Underscore. You motherfucker. Stop interrupting me. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Ren Operative Underscore. You can find me on YouTube at Renegade Operative. And Kaneki's gay. <laughs> Oh, All right, God. next up. Someone it's... made the hashtag already. Reapers hates indie fighters. There you go. Nah, that ain't true. Facts. Fuck off. I assure Reapers hate. Hate your facts. Anyways, uh, Italian Stallion, you're up. All right, uh, you can find me YouTube Italian Stallion three thirty and Twitter it Stallion three. All right, uh, Brendan, where can we find you, sir? You find me on Twitter at um at um Brand Mr. Brendan Infinite Ammo or is. And also, see you next time. Bye. Shut up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I hate her. Oh, Hades Manticore, where can we find you, sir? Uh, Twitter.com slash Hades underscore Manticore and YouTube.com slash Video Games Ho. Awesome. Uh, Lagaya, where can we find you? You can find me at Lagaya Rosteru. That's L-E-G-A-I-A-R-A-S-E-R-U on... YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch. All right. Kaneki, where can we find you, sir? You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube under the same name as School World Order. And uh, you can follow Renegade Operative at Pornhub.com. No, oh, you shut your mouth, sir. <laughs> Who asked for us? <laughs> that's him, right? And yeah, the that's me. And no, the podcast, me. Taco Bell. And xvideos.com slash Ren Operative. I ain't there. Unless I'm, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. bonus on Xvideos? Videos? What's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah man. Man. you porn idiots. I, I gotta go man, to the that... dirty site. Who the hell watches you porn? I don't know. Pornhub is down. Come on. Someone in here. You porn. Me. Yeah, Pornhub <laughs> is where I upload my let's plays of Sengoku rants and Big Bang Age. Yeah, you like <laughs> the... Okay, then. You like the, the Logan Paul list. Motherless. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Actually, oh, Madison.com. Hold on. Small, quick uh, thing. What, what will happen if Pornhub did become the next YouTube? What the fuck are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> I want to I wanna upload, like, fighting it's games true. to, like, fucking X videos. Pornhub Nothing's was... stopping you, really. No. Yeah. yeah, down, down, circle. Come you could be the Jake Paul of that site. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what kind of reference is that? <laughs> word okay please end this please yeah you can find me on works. twitter twitch and youtube at reapers 240 uh you can find the podcast here on twitch and you can find it on the actual youtube channel uh infinite ammo syndicate um what else was i gonna fucking say this was the quarter circle forward podcast and i hope you enjoyed it watching it on stream and watching it at home on youtube uh we appreciate your time and uh, have a good night. See you guys later. Hey, Reaper is reading the script, man. What's going on here? Nah, yeah, what is this is actually from the top of my head, boy. Uh, <laughs> oh, you have a script written on your head? Boy. 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 <laughs> All right. See you guys later. Later. Oh, Goodbye. Man. Rest in peace, Lucky Chloe.